Hi, I'm Chris Elems. Here is your Channel's TV Evening News Recap for Sunday, June the 2nd, 2019. President Muhammad Buhari is back in the country after attending a summit of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, in Mata, Saudi Arabia. The President had departed from Nigeria last week, Thursday, May the 30th, to attend the 14th session of the OIC conference hosted by King Salma bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. President Mohamed Buhari has sent a federal government delegation to support Nigeria's candidate, Tijani Mohamed Bande. This comes ahead of the election for the presidency of the United Nations General Assembly, UNGA, on June the 4th. Mr. Bande, who is the permanent representative of Nigeria to the UN, will become the second Nigerian to be elected president of UNGA if he wins the election. Senator Dino Melaya has declared his intention to contest in the Kogi state governorship race. A media aide to the lawmaker Gideon Ayodele confirmed the development. Ayodele said that Melaye, who will represent Kogi West in the Senate, made the decision to stand for the November 16th poll at the People's Democratic Party meeting held at Major General David Jemi Beyond's Ayatollah's country home today. On the foreign scene, Pope Francis has apologized to the Roman people on behalf of the Catholic Church during his visit to Romania. At a meeting with Roman people on the last day of his visit to the country, the pontiff asked for forgiveness for all those times in history when we have discriminated, mistreated or looked askance at you. Roman people have faced persecution in Europe for centuries. And in sport, Liverpool have taken their celebrations to England, where tens of thousands of fans awaited the team's return today. The Reds' party had started in Madrid, stretching long into the night after they became six-time European champions with goals from Mohamed Salah and Divock Origi to beat Tottenham. The two-nil win in the sweltering Metropolitano Stadium delivered the first trophy in seven years for Liverpool. And that's the news recap. Join us tomorrow for the morning update. I am Chris Alamsi. Thank you for watching.